so while I was editing episode 150 I also reached 17 mil woodcut experience so if you didn't know already I'm using that to track my uh, construction progress to 99 so I need an expected or maximum 2.2 mil more woodcut experience 299 construction I want to show you guys something so ever since I started cutting teak trees for the construction I've gained 150 burst nests that's actually really nice and uh, I reckon I can probably get another 150 by the time I get all the teaks so that's really good I can turn them into another 300 brews which is always you know nice for PVM well starting off the day of woodcutting with a good surprise we got elite clue scroll perfect so building more uh, master stash units and this one is particularly good I can actually store the uh, bow warrior and all the dragon items that I need with this clue okay got this master clue from uh, cutting some teaks basically with that elite clue so let's pop this open and see what we get ah uh, okay well got a lot of secondaries and herbs which I will gladly take in a dragon dagger oh man that's so good I got another elite clue scroll so that is three elite clue scrolls so far on uh, the journey to the 99 construction but yeah the last one was only like uh, two days ago so that's good I'll do another master then all right with this inventory I will get 96 construction holy shit maximum 32 rooms some of you guys have mentioned I should go back to mahogany tables to use on my mahogany but I've already tried that and I didn't really like it because instead of pressing 1 and 2 on my keyboard to build my stuff for the tables I have to press 1 and 6 which is really annoying because they're far away I'm aware that you can actually use like a third party program to you know switch your number 6 to 2 but I don't really want to mess with any other uh, programs so I'll just do benches and uh, the experience is still crazy you know I easily get over 100k an hour and if I really you know focus I can probably get 900k plus same as the mahogany tables anyways so there's really no difference other than the benches being more convenient for me three more levels to go though crazy crazy but I have to stock up on teak planks again though so so after a lot more construction that 14 mil GP stack I believe it was right that you saw is pretty much down to 3 mil now so it is time for me to start alking once again this time 3000 onyx bolts the best stack there is uh, in terms of my alkable so my plan is I'll just do 1000 a uh, day for three days while I'm doing a Jody that way I should uh, be able to pace myself and get enough money for the remainder of the construction grant so I have about 1.4 mil banked right now in uh, extra resources for construction so that means I only need to get 2 mil worth more of construction supplies so that is about 22,000 more teak logs for me to collect okay so I should be getting 83 agility right as I land yes perfect that's amazing and got the Brimhaven dungeon shortcut which I'll never use at this point I'm feeling a lot less at the relic of course at uh, 82 so I guess 83 will probably be even better it's not so bad I mean look at this I'm also getting 50k while I am alking at the same time so some people suggested I should go back to serious course but the main thing that I'm looking forward to a Jody is not the experience is actually the marks of grace so the reason I do a Jody is mainly so I can get these marks for the stamina pots for my solo raids and uh, unfortunately if you weren't aware if you're 20 levels above the rooftop starting level you only get a 20% of the original marks so normally I was getting like 15 marks an hour at the Sears course now that I'm you know past 80 uh, I only get about 20% of that so it's more like 4 to 5 marks an hour which is really really bad whereas here at the relic of course you know I'm getting like 14 13 marks an hour and almost the same XP rate so yeah this is definitely you know a better choice for me so I decided to do some uh, potion making I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make myself a thousand super energy just to collect it the more my fungus real quick cuz I got quite a bit of amylase while I was alking my onyx bolts and stuff you know with the marks so I'm gonna get quite a bit more cuz I still got 2k onyx bolts left to alk so yeah Definitely I uh, need to make some more super energies because I'm low on that for the stamina pot So with a thousand I should be uh, all set All right, that's very nice made myself a hundred super energy force got a good 
150k herb XP. Getting kind of close. 294, so. Alright, this guy's dead though, so. Let's check it out. Oh my god, no, fuck man, I got something, but it's my fifth dragon throne axe, wow, that's, that's so bad, how does this happen, bro, I am, I am pretty disappointed this time around, shit, how does that happen, dude, cursed by the dragon items, bro, last one wasn't that good, but maybe this one is the Gucci one, oh, this one is, Wow, that's horrendous, dude. It's not even 100k. Alright, that's my second day of alking. So, as you can see, I saved up on 20 mil. And I still got 1k onyx balls left, so that's another 9 mil. And all the other different alkables that I could be uh, delving into. But I'm pretty sure 20 mil should be enough to plank the rest of my construction logs that I need for the 99 construction. So I might not even have to delve into the last 1k. So I'll just save the last 1k. Finally here, where pretty much all my mahogany planks are uh, used up, almost. Yep, 97 construction. Dude, 2160 total too. Very nice. Oh god, that's so much XP to 98. But yeah, I've almost used up all my planks now. So the next two levels... Which I hope to get in the span of six days is yeah, I'm gonna take quite a while. Almost all my planks are gone, so the rest is just up for up to me to go and cut them and plank them. So I need to we'll cut about fourteen thousand teak planks, yeah, about. So I just recently hit over eighty mil what kind of experience mark. So that means I only need about one mil and a few hundred k more experience left and we're cutting approximately to get the remaining logs for the 99. I'm so close, man. Got myself 155 dragon arrows. All right, if I remember correctly, I'm almost to 6,000, so. Oh yeah, I'm over 6,000. Dragon arrows now, cool. In terms of my construction grind to 99, I will be on schedule to get 99 construction in the next episode. So you won't see another episode coming out until this 99 construction is done. And that is the great thing about skilling goals is because it's not RNG. You know, if you set yourself deadlines and goals each day for you know XP and stuff, you can get it done reasonably expected. Now, my PVM grind, which is obviously my main priority on my account, is so RNG as you can tell. Right now, I'm trying to get that Twisted Bow. I'm trying to complete more of those race uniques. I have 11 uniques and I'm still there. I've been at the 11 uniques for basically two months now. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty sad, I guess, for me. So it's a little disappointing. And uh, I was holding back on trying to do some corp and stuff because I really wanted to get my next unique item because it could be a twisted bow. Like, the twisted bow is, you know, the ultimate equipment in this game at the moment. So that's why, you know, I've been trying so hard. But it just doesn't seem to be happening. So I think after 99 construction is done, I will put some of the time uh, back into other PVM like Corporal Beast. So, you know, on top of my race grind, at least for the remaining summer, I can also, you know, put some Corporal Beast grind back in there once the 99 construction is done because that is really the main reason why I got the construction kit because it's so good for Corporal Beast. So while I still have about three weeks left in the summer, you will be seeing some more Corporal Beast content once the 99 construction is done. Probably a bit of Zora as well but mainly the Corporal Beast content. And I also have another skill and goal that I will be working on once this construction grind is over. And I will talk more about the next skill and goal in the next video. So here is the updated raid progress picture. Nothing has changed too much except for that extra Dragon Throne Axe. I'm currently at like 850 raids approximately. And yeah, probably gonna reach about 900-ish by the end of the summer so let's see if we can you know fill up the charts some more whether it be uniques or you know items already have 
So I will be concluding the video here guys If you are new to the series and you want to stay up to date If you haven't already feel free to subscribe That way you'll know exactly when the next video will come out But other than that I hope to see you guys soon Hopefully you know within a week With another video Take care